you very much, everyone, for coming tonight. And this is Kyoko Higo. She will translate my lecture because I don't speak English very well. <laughs> Too bad I didn't uh, attend UCLA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so chefs, not just restricted or limited to sushi chefs, since we're talking about sushi today. Uh, in Japan, they place uh, a very, very high importance on rice, the rice grains itself, but the cooked rice that we consume as our main sort of staple food. And here in the U.S., um, I don't think a lot is really told or shared, um, sort of dissecting or decoding, as you said, about rice. Um, there's a lot you can read in the media and learn about sushi, but the majority of them talk about the fish, as you just said, Doctor. So most of the rice used um, in sushi restaurants across um, the states are, most of them use the medium grain rice, but some, uh, there are some types of short grain rices that are used. Uh, in uh, they come from California. In Japan, most sushi restaurants would be using short grain rice. So the photos you see here is a way for me to um, examine or experiment with the various types of rice. Here, um, we experimented two different types. They're both short grain rice. So first, what I do here is I soak the uncooked rice in water and leave it for about 20 minutes. Um, the rice um, may be hard to see, but it turns white. Um, and as it sits in water, and then sometime after 20 minutes, it, it'll start to break. Uh, there's 100 grains of rice here, and then I take a sample, check to see uh, if there are any cracks. Uh, and there's about 10 grains on, on both sides of the slides here. So my sort of guideline when doing this kind of examination is, you know, how many of the grains are being, are, do, do I see cracks or are they starting to break? So out of 100, if I see maybe 10 or less, then it gets my sort of pass or approval. And why I have this sort of 10 out of 100 rule is because um, uh, if I see more cracks uh, taking 10 grains of rice, you can see kind of a light white line around it, and that's the starch that's uh, leaking out from the cracks. And that makes the rice very sticky uh, when you start to chew on it and, and bite into it. And so with good rice, which has less cracks or breaks, you're able to feel the texture of each of the grains, uh, whereas in your mouth, whereas with the, with the lower quality rice, you're going to just get the stickiness.